beloved Ascension Pioneers. Welcome to another one of my light activations. And this one is going to be on anchoring our new lives, our new divine blueprint by our soul, which we are choosing to embody more and more each and every day. And there's so many of us who are gathering now who are sharing this beautiful community, and especially the community of Ascension Pioneers, which keeps growing every day. And there is no synchronicity. I mean, there is no coincidence. It's just a synchronicity that I'm making this video and I'm making this activation today on Sunday. And there was a beautiful shift in energy. It was this weekend. And I had this feeling of very deep emotional side on, it was Friday night. And then yesterday was kind of, you know, something medium. And today I just felt amazing. When I woke up in my bed, I just felt, you know, like instant shift. My first thought in the morning was something's gone. The old is gone. It was my first, you know, my first guidance. And then when I shared with the people, it's so many souls feel this way. And there is no coincidence, you know, that I'm recording this video about anchoring our new lives today. Because, you know, year 2012, like I say, is is very important year. Not in the sense that so many people are making it, you know, making it like it's a year of doomsday or a year of prophecy. But it's really a year of healing, a year of holding it's a year of love, peace, <laughs> hope, faith, and what's the last word? Dreams. Last word on my t-shirt. It's this, I just, you know, needed to buy it myself because of these words that highly resonate and they, you know, kind of bring that essence of purity back. And um, it's all about this. You know, when you, you become this pure channel for your soul, for your pure vessel for spirit, you keep attracting that new life towards you. Not just that you're attracting it, you're becoming it. You start bringing your essence back. You start grounding your energy and taking it back. Like I say, it's a descent of spirit into matter. That pure crystalline white uh, diamond light of our essence that is direct essence of how we were truly created as an I am presence, which is individualized and unique. And like I said, there is no coincidence and everything, you know, is just falling to place. And this year was dedicated to healing. And today I heard, and I really highly resonate that this year, towards the end of it, the first wavers, the first wave of pioneering spirits is going to experience a great amount of bliss, of freedom, because this is going to be our inner state, because we've been working towards this, and this is all that we've been devoted to, and of course sharing that, sharing our journey, which is what I do. And the thing is, you know, this is going to bring us closer to our true destined path. You know, we're always in the right step. We're always in the right path. But towards our new life that we will start creating in a more visible, uh, visible, tangible, physical form here on Earth as well. And building more community life. Bringing things more into matter, not just in spirit. And that's why I'm guided to do this activation with all of you. Because we're kind of like in a last trimester, October, November, December. The last trimester, you know, we're like bringing that pregnancy towards the end, towards the final birthing stage. And um, that's very important. I feel this trimester is very important. Things are really speeding up. So sometimes you might think still from the old, oh, things take time. But right now, things are moving so much faster. And the energies are helping us with that. And um, everything is just as it's meant to be. And all those people who speak about shifts, and when I observe these things also from the physical level, which is not just the physical level, but when you think of it as, you know, solar flares hitting direct Earth's atmosphere and its magnetosphere, it's always in resonance with these shifts that these people talk about. And I'm one of them, but I get to connect both. I like to connect spirit and matter and see how everything is intertwined. So one more thing I would like to address is this is our path. This is our chosen path. This is our chosen destiny. And not everyone is choosing the same right now in these waves, you know, in this first wave as a frontier. Not everyone is choosing this path, but it doesn't matter, you know, because we have to be true to ourselves. We who get to choose this life get to decide for this embodiment. And when we do that, when we choose the new, which is ego free, I mean, doesn't mean you kill your ego, but it means that you are merging together with your soul and it kind of serves you. It serves you in a way that was created here. You know, for certain things that are of earthly nature, that's why you need the ego. So we are kind of choosing the life that merges everything and that nothing is ever judged. Nothing is ever seen as bad or wrong, good or bad. And there's still people who believe in that. There's still people who feed that duality. A lot of the people I know are supposed to be very spiritual and they speak about spiritual things, but it's all coming from the mental level. They have not yet embodied it. But when you really become love in action, when you really become that pure essence of who you truly are, you wish to be in service, you wish to be a flow, you share yourself. 
and you actually you don't feed duality anymore you you decide to feed the new which is pure unconditional love it's joy it's freedom it's expansion expanding every day you know you 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 say to yourself every day, I don't know. And when you say, I don't know, knowing comes. It comes from wisdom, not the information and the external world. It comes from within. And that's where your true wisdom resides. Everyone is a teacher by essence, you know, because everyone has their higher self, which you can choose to open up to. And the more you choose the way of the new, the more you choose that and you always choose the higher perspective. So even though there are still others who might choose to feed duality instead of the new, and might, you know, not understand that what the earth right now truly needs, what this planet truly needs is freedom and is love. This planet craves for love. Humanity craves for love. We, we, we've been missing it for so long. I've seen still so many people who struggle with truly being loved. They speak about things, things of spiritual nature, but that's not the same as truly vibrating at pure love. It's not the same. So love is truth. And I would like to invite all of you who are ready to do this activation with me because we're going to call forth our new lives and these lives are really congruent and aligned with our highest path, which is the path of our soul. And we're going to choose to anchor this now. We're going to choose to invite the highest state, the highest essence. We're going to call out the highest energies within the law of oneness, within the principle of unity. And we're going to call forth the highest master energies, the highest angelic, archangelic kingdoms. We're going to call for the Devi kingdom as well, which is here on earth. And we need to cooperate with these kingdoms as well. We're going to call for the Elohim. We're going to call for many star beings that, you know, assist us with the transition. And I would like to invite you with this decree and this intent to go now with a deep silent breath and a deep space of silence that lies within you. Take white, light breath, in breath. That is the white light of source. That is the white light of all creation. That is creator light. That is pure source essence. And you breathe it in now. Where all of us are reading that white light, not knowing where we're gonna go next. Not even this activation. I don't know what's gonna take place. I don't know what I am to say, but I'm choosing to say it anyway. I'm choosing to be. I'm choosing to be love. And I'm choosing to be a pure channel and vessel for spirit. And I invite you to choose the same. So while you breathe that white light in you, in your being, in your space, you breathe in more and more for that remembrance of the divine, of your divine nature, of who you truly are. And while you breathe that in, you feel that you're really breathing in your true, unique, individualized I am presence within that source, which is the source of all that is. And you're one beautiful ray of creation within it. And you breathe that white light. Now, when you're breathing it into your crown area, you are introducing it forth through your body, through your physical vessel. And now you imagine your physical vessel acting like a prism of light that will reflect this beautiful white light and spread it into multitudes of colors, into multitudes of rays, which will all serve a unique individualized aspect of your new life. So breathe in that white light through your prism which is your entire body and imagine your body as well being entangled with a beautiful crystalline white light with a white gong with a gong of pure white that gong serves you like a shield but not a shield because you don't need it in this vibration all is one but it serves you as a cloak of your essence and you see yourself wrapped in this white but now the more profound and deeply you breathe in that source creation light through the prism of your body through deep breathing the more you see it dispersed and diverse 
and you see how multitudes of rays and beautiful color spectrum and sprinkles of light are showering all over your body. Now you feel that in this space, you are one with your creator state. You are one with your source essence. You are multitudes of rays, but yet you are also one. You are divine. You're also human. And everything that lies in between. That all you are. And between all of that is love. Now you take a few deep breaths and feel that love which connects all of your essences, all of your attributes of the divine, and all of the attributes of your human vessel. Now, while we have allowed our I Am Presence to fully descend in our body, we first take a deep look, a deep introspection into what still needs to be looked at. So how we do that? We imagine a beautiful radiant sun, a sun that is also assisting us with the ascension process, a sun that is assisting the earth with its ascension process, which is all one. And that beautiful orange, yellow, sun, a glowing orb that is right in front of you, is your direction, is where you need to be. Imagine that as your new light, the new sun greeting your presence, greeting your light. But now, dear beloved, by that sun, which is your new presence, your new life, your new divine blueprint, it carries its codes, it carries the light codes, it carries your new DNA matrix. But it also invites you now that in order to be able to activate that fully within you, it asks you to look, look deep within you and look back in the now moment, of course. But looking back, like looking into a mirror, what is thou still to see? What is there still that is not fully aligned with your soul? What is there that still holds you back? And that beautiful white light and that radiant sun that represents your new life, your new DNA helix matrix within it, invites you and share with you this beautiful technique how you can do that in a most easy and profound way through visualizing something that we will do together here and now. Now, while looking directly into that sun, see yourself like standing in the middle of a meadow or a landscape of your preference. And that sun is also invoking you. It's initiating you that you look back now for a moment. Look behind your shoulder and there you will see a bridge. You will see a beautiful bridge and whatever is there on the other threshold of that bridge, on the other side, is that which no longer serves you, which is that of the old. The more you ask yourself, where am I? According to that bridge, where do I see myself standing? Where do I wish to stand? Where do I wish to reside? And see what that bridge still holds for you. What is there on that bridge that needs to be let go of? What is there that is a part of that part that is already whole, so therefore does not need that situation, person, or experience any longer? So that which no longer serves you in your highest evolutionary path of the soul. What is it there on that bridge? Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you welcome it into your presence, in your awareness? Whatever it is that you see and you see that now you're not ready to stay there anymore, that you're ready now to move on to the next chapter of your life. 
you will see that as the gap between you and the bridge becoming bigger and bigger and you will see each on your own way how that bridge is closing up maybe you can even see it that it's lifting like an anchor bridge like a lift off or maybe you just see it vanishing becoming more transparent as you wave goodbye to all these people, situations, opportunities that you no longer wish to reside within, that you no longer wish to change your energy with. You wave it goodbye and you can also see a beautiful pink bubble of light overflowing all of those things so that you can say goodbye to them through love the radiant divine love and that beautiful pink bubble that serves directly for that purpose of melting away the old of dissolving it and returning it back to its true source from where it originates by the divine pace and as it is most appropriate for the evolution of those things to return to their source so you wave goodbye now, oh so gently. And you see now that you stand on the other side of the land. You breathe in that new air, that fresh air. And once you turn back towards the sun that is inviting you and that is greeting you, you feel you no longer need to look back. You feel that you only need to stay present here in the now and looking directly towards that new, towards that glowing light, towards that glowing orb of light that is welcoming your new life here and now. And this is where you choose to be and nowhere else but here. And while you feel this, and while you feel there's no more desire to look back, you ask yourself gently, how does this make me feel? How do I feel now, once I don't feel the need to look back any longer? First feeling, thought, impression, that is the right answer for you, beloved. Now breathe in and try to feel that answer. Try to feel your feeling. What I hear is peace, tranquility, divine love, and union. So as we feel now this space, and if we are fully comfortable with being in that space, we now look directly towards that sun and we see how its glow, how its orb is shining ever so brightly, even more now that we've decided for this, now that we've decided to cross that threshold, now that we've decided to activate our new lives and our new divine blueprint according to our soul, and its choices made according to the new, as everything is always shifting and changing in the divine scheme of all things, in the divine plan of perfection. We breathe in again that beautiful orange glowing yellowy light, kind of golden light of the sun. And through every breath, we feel that this sun, this glowing orb, directs beautiful sprinkles of light towards us. And these are our divine light packages of light that is information that is needed and most necessary, most beneficial for our new lives. And we see how we're being washed over by these sprinkles, by new life, by the new codes of life. We see these codes, how they hit our body on all the levels of our being, not just the physical. First, they hit our spiritual 
than the mental, the emotional, and then the physical as well. And we are changed, oh, so changed for good, forever. For once we decide for the path of our soul, there is no more turning back. There is no more looking back. There is only bliss here. There is only remembrance here. And there is only truth here. And we see that we are this truth. And that we have found ourselves in the realms of eternity. And we decide for a life that is timeless, and ageless and it is our life that is by the divine degree of our beloved I am. The more we breathe that in and the more the sun carries these coats of light towards us and into us, into our entire being, the more we feel who we truly are. And the more we feel our true lives, our desires, our passions, our joys within our soul that are not the visions of the ego but the desires directly stemming from our soul. We feel completely one with our soul. We feel completely embraced by our I am presence. And we feel in complete unison and contact with our higher self, our angelic self our source self. Now for the final activation to take its place in the visible, physical, in the tangible form, we ask that these codes of light activate on the highest of levels and descend on the lowest of form and the lowest of density to transcend it with the fullest light of our being. So we imagine these sprinkles of light, these tiny bubbles and dots of light hitting us directly while the sun is carrying these codes of DNA change and the shift through the grand central sun directly towards our own inner sun. We feel how they're descending into our body matrix. And by that conscious choice, we are deciding to be the carriers of these codes, to be ambassadors of light, and to choose these new lives as the first waves of volunteers, of pioneers, ambassadors of light, the avatar race, the I am race. So we see these codes and we, we feel shivers in our body, we feel tingles in our body because these codes are overwashing us overflowing once with its beautiful presence and we see how the I am that I am our true nature can now through these codes directly descend into a form that we are that we carry and we feel how our light DNA is changing our physical DNA directly through that experience we feel that our spiritual self and our human self are one. And we feel that our free will self and our divine will self are also one. We feel complete unison with our beloved creator, with the source of all that is, with the father-mother aspect of God. And we are that light of souls and we are that love and as these codes of light descend into our bodies we now fully know and feel that our physical external lives will match this spiritual truth because we make it so because we embody it here and now now what I'm going to ask you to do now for the final moments of this activation is to keep breathing and while you are breathing imagine and envision your highest future your highest potential your best most beneficial most radiant most joyful most harmonic life and destiny 
that is created for you, by you, by your soul, and carry it forth. Now move into the area between your eyebrows, which is your third eye. And through that area, directly envision and feel your best and highest potential lived in the physical reality. How you, this way, decide for your new self, for your new life, and for your entire soul blueprint. And we will do this together, right here and now. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe out and feel your life as you truly envision it by your soul. Know that as you project that outwardly into the world, into the collective energy field and the entire grid system here. You are changing and uplifting the vibration of all. Because when you get to decide for your highest future and potential, others have better chance for it as well. You are the seed of life. You are the essence of all creation. And you are the manifestation of the divine here on earth, beloved. You are also loved. And your new lives are here for you now. All you have to do is step into it. Is step into those lives step by step, oh so willingly and oh so consciously. And as you keep breathing, that beautiful, vision that is not just a fantasy you fully feel as one with all life with all creation and this is how all lives are supposed to be in the highest aspect of your chosen destiny Take a few moments now to hold this vision and directly from that envisioning space from the third eye, move that vision, lock it and seal it into your heart now where the infinity symbol resides which we have activated during the previous light activation. So merge that infinity symbol in your heart, that sacred symbol of love through the Vesica Pisces twinkling essence that is you. Carry that vision from your soul into that symbol and into your beloved hearts. Now. And so we can live our new lives fully heart-centered in the physical form of our highest divinity. We are the first wave and there are so many to come. There are so many to follow. But we need to decide for ourselves. And our path is what matters. Because through changing our path to its highest destiny, we uplift with our vibration so much and we are in love. Now take a moment to thank the beloved sun and the grand central sun behind that sun and thank your beloved I am presence and the source of all that is and thank your divine self, your soul and your human self for this experience, for this activation for your further, further remembrance of who you truly are and living your life to the fullest degree and potential. Now breathe that gratitude in and 
by the out breath, you also share it with the world. You may now slowly as ready open your eyes. That was kind of quite a journey for me right now. It was very hard for me to speak those words because, again, I got carried into other realms. <laughs> so, apologize for me not enunciating or stressing some words um, in a way that would be best understood and really uh, heard properly. I hope you were able to hear all of what I was saying because it was really intense for me. And I hope it was intense for you as well. Um, I'm wishing a lot of love hope, faith, peace, and dreams through the heart, because there's a heart also at the bottom, to all of you, to all of us, and I wish the highest of potential to all of us and to this planet and to the entire creation, to all of the multiverses, and we are all here to serve each other, to support each other, so whatever kind of support you still need, contact me through Ascension Pioneers or anyone else who's doing this similar work of service within their own beautiful, unique way. And know that you're not alone because there's so many of us. And how many of us choose this new path and new life, as many of us that this is, the more potential and the more light is being brought forth to this planet and its evolution. So thank you, namaste, beloved, beloved beautiful souls. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend um, and um, Actually, the weekend is over, but I hope you have a beautiful week and the energy shift is still ongoing. Um, my nose got a bit kind of stuffed. <laughs> it's weird. I really experienced high energies and I would like to receive your feedback on this as well because I usually receive quite a few replies and feedbacks to my light activations. And I don't want to sound like an elephant now <laughs> in my nose, but I'll just say I love you all. And take care. Many blessings on your path and share with me. I'm sure you experienced there is a new project for me um, where I invited you to share your videos and other forms as well to share. Share as much as you can because the more we share, the more love emanates from our hearts. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon and be loved. That's the truth.